Here we are in Kent, not too far from the White Cliffs of Dover. I'm joined this morning by Matt Solly of JS Crop Limited and Nick Peters of Frontier. It's uh, early February, so many farmers will be thinking now about how to be applying nitrogen and fungicides to their oilseed rape crops. Uh, Matt, you were telling me that this crop here is looking somewhat more forward than last year. This year the biggest difference has been we've planted it um, similar time than we always would early to mid-August. Um, the 2016 crop went in that similar time but obviously we had no moisture in the ground whatsoever so the, the seed sat there for a good month until we saw heavy rainfall towards the latter part of September when the crop then got away so uh, Looking at this time last year, we were looking at rate crops a lot smaller than we are here today. Obviously, yeah, these have gone in, moisture was in the ground, the crops got away, and uh, we've now got this dilemma, how do we hold them back from becoming, uh, getting out of control? And Nick, uh, would you say that this crop here is too forward, or is this just about right for the time of year? I'm personally fairly happy with the position this crop's in, it looks very well. We have already used um, PGR uh, triazoles in the autumn to help temper the growth. Um, yeah, and the crop below ground has got a good root structure, um, which we've seen today. And, uh, you know, it's really in good stead to, to be well managed to take off um, as the temperatures increase. And you were telling me earlier the soil temperature here is about four degrees, but what temperature would you be waiting for? Yeah, so we'd like to be looking at sort of four to five degrees and climbing. Um, so if, if we've got forecasts of, of warmer days, sunny days, um, you know, we can start to think about applying nitrogen. And light leaf spot is the key disease that everybody will be worrying about now in the springtime. Have you seen any evidence of that in crops yet? Today we'd find it hard to see any symptoms but I have been taking leaf samples from crops in the area and we take them home and incubate them for a few days and I have seen from the samples I've been taking over the last week or so signs becoming visible within the plant. Mm. Um, so we will tailor our fungicide inputs towards the end of February to um, prevent the spread of, of light leaf spot. And as far as applications of nitrogen go, is this balancing act is key, isn't it, between going in too early and too late? Exactly. Uh, I mean, a forward crop like this, we're not going to be rushing into tomorrow, um, but it's a fine line, as you suggest, of going too early and too late. We, the last thing we want to do, get to do is go too late and starve this crop of nitrogen, which will lead it to bolt and we will we'll lose all the yield components later on. And your philosophy, Matt, is to really look after these crops and give them the top treatment rather than look for every pound of cost saving. Yeah, I, I think it's with prices where we are at rapeseed, you know, we've had a recent fall in the, in the, in the market price, but you know, let's hope it's just a short term fall. But you know, we're achieving w nicely in excess of 300 pounds a ton there's good great gross margins to made on these rape crops and I, and I feel it's worth investing in the crop to get the most out of it, it, it as, as possible